Hey folks, welcome to the latest round of Humans of Data Hub. I'm Maggie, I'm the Community Product Manager of Data Hub, and today we are joined by Vincent, one of our community members. Um, Vincent, go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us who you are, where you work, and what you do. Hi, I'm Vincent Koch, based in Sydney, Australia, um, from the other side of the world for those of, uh, in, in America and Europe. Uh, I work as the head of data for a digital native organization known as High Pages. Um, High Pages is Australia's largest trading marketplace. We effectively match uh, tradies, or as we like to call them, tradespeople, um, mm -hmm. with consumers in the market. So um, you might be familiar with other sorts of similar marketplaces um, as well, but we effectively sort that matching process. And I think being a, a, a digital native and a, and a sort of marketplace organization, we, we have a huge and, and, and sort of vast array of data, data assets. Um, and that's sort of where I stumbled across um, Data Hub. Awesome. Yeah. So how did you like what how did you find Data Hub? Like what was the reason for even starting to look for something like Data Hub? Yeah, so I think High Pages is an organization. My predecessors were sort of early, early adopters of, of Data Hub as a technology. Um, as an organization, we're also quite big on, I wouldn't like to say like build it yourself, but it's always been about, you know embracing open technology and open standards. And I believe Data Hub has been sort of in this space, which is quite critical when we talk about things like data contracts and data lineage and data governance as a whole, having someone who's sort of not impartial, but an open standard or open technology that, that others can adopt. Um, I know there's others similar to you sort of in that same vein that have been open sourced from large organizations and the work that they've created. But I think my predecessors sort of opted for Data Hub um, and when I came and I sort of inherited that work and the more I started to explore the capabilities and what I could do with it, I realized you can really shape it and mold it for your organization and its data governance needs. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so um, I assume, you know, in that journey, you've been uh, touched the Data Hub community to some extent. Uh, do you have anything that you enjoy most about it? So the favorite thing I find is, is one is the town halls which unfortunately I can't join all the time given the, the crazy time zone difference, but I just love the energy in the announcements and, and just sort of watching the announcements channel and also the, the sort of feature request channel. Mm. Um, I see Maggie sometimes in there and, and others in there sort of like updating the roadmap and we're seeing the product come to life just shaped by the community and to be able to see the, the, the sort of the impact the community has on the roadmap and the development of Data Hub is, is quite, quite interesting to see, yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts of my job. <laughs> it's so much fun to be able to like truly shape the roadmap mm -hmm. around what the community is asking for and um, and also at the same okay. time collaborate uh, with folks and really fleshing out those like user stories or use cases. What does the feature look like? How do we know when we've done it well? Um, and then we also have people jumping in that want to just build it from scratch as well, which just kind of blows my mind. It's pretty amazing. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I and I'm all for it. <laughs> um, so you mentioned you mentioned that you know uh, you see Data Hub as something that is you know really kind of malleable or something that you can shape to the needs of your mm -hmm. org. Um, what are some of those use cases or some of those problems that Data Hub is has really kind of catered to addressing within within High Pages? So for High Pages, we've gone through sort of many iterations of, of our data architecture from warehouse to lake and, and now on to sort of the, the lake house architecture. And mm -hmm. I think something like Data Hub with this extendable sort of use of data lineage and to be able to call various BI tools and systems, our engineers can sort of go, right, if I turn this thing off, who's going to scream? Yeah. What is this going to break? And just at least give us some some visibility into that. Like um, we know every every company sort of, dreams about this perfect world with, with data governance, but it's, sure. it's imperfect. Like just the, the whole the whole thing of data governance is the fact that it's so imperfect and we have to somehow bring structure to it. So it allows us to be a bit more calculated with the choices that we make um, when mm. dealing mostly with, with sort of legacy architecture and legacy reports and systems, yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, that's fascinating. So like, as you're going on, you know, that building journey. Uh, is there anything that you're really excited to see happen with Data Hub in 2023 as we come into the new year? Yeah, so for me, actually, it's this, this space around sort of data contracts and, and, and I'm a super buzzword at the moment, but like to me, the data contracts, the way that I suppose you can define it, you can enforce it, but 
when you start to understand the impact of a data contract and at least understand the enforcement, you need that lineage in place. You need to understand what is the downstream and upstream of this data, of this data asset. What are the data products in your ecosystem? Who's using it? How often? You know, that's the only way we can actually work out if if the contract has actually been violated or if we're meeting the SLAs of the data that we've set up. So, I find that. Um, what we're building at the moment is trying to centralize a lot of this, this metadata and, and somehow work it around the, the lineage and, and the stuff in Data Hub. And I know there's some features sort of up and coming. Um, there's been a lot of work done around sort of like the domain model and concept of own, different sort of concepts of ownership um, as well. So, yeah, super excited about possibly, you know, just really going on that journey and that transformation um, in terms of data governance. Yeah, and we definitely, um, you know, we're in we're in the early stages of figuring out what does a data contract mean in Data Hub, right? Um, and I think feed, feedback from folks like like your team and you know your use cases are going to be paramount to helping us really define that so that it's a something that's actionable and something that is really you know serving a, a strong purpose there. Um, but I agree, very very buzzy, but also very useful too, right? Like buzzy for a reason. People, there is there is a strong need for us to figure this stuff out. So. Um, yeah, if, um, yeah. Like, I mean, this whole concept of data, data stewardship, right? Like, you know, giving mm -hmm. ownership back to business, but like businesses, like, oh, you're you're now a data steward, and then like, well, what what does what does that mean? Like, what yeah, like, <laughs> so what? Data, but <laughs> how, how do I actually give them visibility of what it is that their catalog is, or what reports they have, sure. whatever X is, right? Like, it's it's all it's all great when it's in this fictitious sort of bubble, but we sort of mm -hmm. need to make it tangible for businesses and, and people in an organization that may not be as tech literate or, or data literate. Sure. You know? We need a, a mechanism to sort of make that visual, make that more malleable for them. Yeah. In order so to sort exciting. of drive that adoption. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, I know you spoke a little bit about lineage, a little bit about domains. Um, what are the what what's your personal kind of favorite? use case or feature within data hub that you've seen so far? I think the most interesting one for me is the tag. So like any asset or database or whatever can be tagged and that tag can come from anywhere. And, mm. and then based on that, you can, you can query on that data that lives within data hub based on those tags and, and see like a, a common example would be like, Hey, let's tag this data as sensitive or PII sure. and let's see which reports are then downstream you know, inheriting this mm. data or like what's using a lot of PII or what's using a lot of legacy or what's using a lot of um, unstable data, things like that, or certified data, things like that. So the tag is quite, quite useful in that sense that you can sort of uh, expand on its capability quite simply. Yeah. Um, and you could just use the SDK's code, your systems or whatever rules you want to define those tags with as well. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, you know, you've been a part of the community for a while now, and I'm sure you have some tips and tricks or some advice for anyone who's just joining the community. Um, what would you say? Uh, for me, it's more around, and I probably won't make it a, a very data hub thing, but just general sort of like Slack communities and data communities in general. It's like, don't be scared. Like not everyone knows the answers to this stuff. Like some people are super technical. And some people are not, but we're all sort of got our own skills in different ways. And feel free to put your hand up and go, hey, this doesn't make sense. I'm sure there's someone out there that'll give sort of lend you, lend you a hand or give you some tips and tricks. But at the same time, like if you want to learn and you want to contribute and you want to be one of those crazy people that want to build the features themselves, <laughs> yeah. like nothing's nothing stopping you. Just give it a go. And I think it's also a great way to understand how how the, the, the systems and the ecosystem shapes up, right? Like for example, if I was to go ahead and start building some features on Data Hub, and that's a really good way for me to get in touch with understanding sort of how data governance works, how lineage works, totally. sort of the roots of it, and really start to conceptualize that and, and sort of learn from that experience as well. So I think it's a great learning experience as well as a, a way to share ideas and different ways of solving problems within the community as well. That's amazing. Yeah. That's like a dream response right there. <laughs> no, we but seriously, in, in, in all seriousness, we're we're so just grateful for you um and the whole high pages team. I know that you guys have just been, you know, real champions of of the project and um you know doing great work both within the community and your organization. Um uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us.